Hey, this is my Rock Pals review for this little Rock Pals 500. You see it's hooked up to the solar panel, pulling 115 watts, which is actually fantastic for such a small unit. You'll see here I'm comparing it to another 500 watt unit, which is a Jackery 500. And on the same panel, it's only pulling about 70 watts, where this one is pulling 115. This Both of them include an MPPT controller, I believe, but I know the RockPal does for sure. And size comparison, uh, the RockPal is definitely smaller, a little more portable, and a little bit lighter. Uh, it definitely fits in more spaces better. Here I'm going to test some of the 12 volt features of the RockPals. So in order to power it, I'm going to power it off the Jackery uh, to just feed the input of the RockPals. And there you go just to see what we would expect to get when you're using the DC charging. And it looks like it's 52 watts, give or take. Uh, both the input of the rock pals and the output of the Jackery within a watt, so close enough. And then there are a bunch of features on both of these units, but honestly, I think the rock pals really wins this one. Um, you'll see in a second, um, yep, you can see the input there, but also you'll notice, look how many more ports on the rock pals in general versus just the Jackery. The Jackery has three USA type, USB type A. This one even has a type C on it, which is very nice. You'll also notice the normal 12 volt. This is a regulated 12 volt, and I did test it with a multimeter throughout the entire capacity cycle. Always 13 volts, excellent, especially for portable fridges. Anderson inputs for solar, that's a big deal. A lot of solar panels will have that. And of course, there's a smaller barrel connector for the DCN. Um, which is also very handy. With the Anderson, not understated. That's a great add. Um, then you see those USB, one of them being a quick charge, which you do not see on the other unit. And then most importantly, two AC outputs here. Um, I don't know why, but on the Jackery, there's only one. The Rock Pals definitely has an edge with two of the units because often you may be powering two devices simultaneously. So, you see all the inputs on the Jackery. There are a lot less on the Jackery than there are on the Rock Pals. Uh, I tested every input, no issues. Speaking of testing, I will include this with my review on Amazon, but I tested it for 12 straight hours. Um, it actually ran the capacity test and completed within the time I expected. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be a little below. Some of these things are rated less than what they actually produce. You'll see that at 10%, the AC inverter stops working, but the DC units still work just fine. That's probably a safety mechanism. I don't think there's anything wrong. I checked the manual. Uh, in addition, you can see even at 10%, I'm still able to charge with my phone. It worked as it was supposed to work. So no issues there. So final thoughts, 115 watt input solar with the Anderson Connect or the DC plug, excellent. Size, portability is excellent, especially compared to other units that are leading this class. Uh, capacity was excellent, and charging time was reasonable. All in all, this thing did not fail any of my tests. I definitely recommend it.